In this video, we'll take a look at how to use a Photoshop action to create random abstract art. So I'm going to start with a pretty big size canvas and I'm going to apply some noise. I'm going to use Gaussian color noise and I'm going to crank up the amount quite a bit. Next I'm going to select all, then I'm going to cut and paste, and I'm going to free transform with control T and I'm going to scale this up. This is going to make the noise bigger so that I'll have bigger chunks of color. I'm going to open my actions palette and I'm going to go ahead and create a new action by clicking on the new icon. I'm going to call this auto abstract. Let's click the record button and then let's select all copy and paste again. That'll create a duplicate of that layer of noise. Then let's do control T to free transform and let's rotate this upside down. Let's also scale the noise up. Depending on how much you scale it up, you're going to get a more dramatic effect if it's bigger. And if we change the blend mode to difference, that's going to invert the colors where they overlap. Let's go ahead and stop the recording and we can test our action by clicking on the play button. That'll play back all of those steps that we recorded. So it's just going to keep making even more random patterns. If we keep hitting the play button, we can just keep increasing this more and more. This is going to be completely different every time you do this. And it's a really quick and easy way just to make some really interesting random fractal color patterns. You can see it tends to get bigger and bigger. And at a certain point, it'll kind of max out and it won't do anything. So it's up to you as the artist to decide when to stop doing this. This is a really interesting process because this is how nature makes colors and patterns. Like for instance, the colors in a soap bubble might look something like this because they're so completely random. So there you go, that's something fun to play with in Photoshop. You can experiment with using different actions. You don't have to necessarily just rotate and scale. You could get creative and try some other things. If you enjoyed this video, take a quick second to click the like button. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, comment down below and let me know. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.